Okay. You do that. That means I don't have to edit in your, uh, you leaving. Oh, let's see. We could go to... I, I can get lost jungle. if I just wander off into the jungle with no idea what the island looks like or where I'm heading. Good point. Um, hmm. There's an arch. Let's go up this path first. I'm gonna explore a bit. It's the oh. ruins of an old city. Huh. The top half of the statue depicts a big-mouthed creature calling out. Okay. The bottom half of the statue depicts a large-eared creature listening intently. Interesting. What's at the base? It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Hmm. It's a creature with large ears. It's a creature with a big mouth. Huh. Interesting. There's a hole here. What's down here? It's a deep hole. More like a crevice, actually. Caused by some kind of seismic activity. Well, I God, it must be at least 50 meters down. The crevice widens out into a huge cave just below. And there's water at the bottom. Hmm. That's interesting. We don't have any rope or anything, so we can't go down there. And there doesn't seem to be much else over here. Just more jungle and more ruins. Alright, let's head back over to the beach. Then. Let's see what's over to this side. Oh. Shipwreck debris. Oh, no, I thought that was something. I thought that little black thing was something I could kick on. That's kind of weird looking. It's some kind of giant crab. It sounds like the poor thing's in a lot of pain. Aww. Yeah, the shell does look way too tight. Maybe he's outgrown it but can't shed it. Or whatever it's called. All right. Die. Wait, really? Oh. Damn it, I keep missing them! Ah, gotta pay attention. Uh, early, Saturday morning. Back home at this time, I'd be safely snuggled up in bed, safe in the knowledge that it's Saturday. I've got nowhere I have to be, I can just relax all day long. Maybe go to the cafe, hang out for a while, maybe go to the park, whatever. This all started a week ago yesterday. One week of mysteries and danger and strange revelations about the very nature of the cosmos. And I'm still reasonably sane. At least that accounts for something. Now I know there's an elation village somewhere on Elias. The question is where? And how do I get there? If the Merim and the elation used to live close to each other, the village should be somewhere down by the sea. Maybe right around the corner. A child already found because the ruins. I found this crab-like creature on the beach, and it looked like it was in pain. Like it was getting slowly strangled or something. Oh man, that's kind of... Uh. It was really sad, but I couldn't do anything. The thing is just too big and solid for me. I need somebody to help me. Somebody big and strong. Why don't I find a person like that on an island like this? I'll just take a shot here and ask you. Is there any chance you speak, like, a real language? Like, um, Arcadian or English? Okay. Now, is there some kind of magic I have to learn, or potion I have to drink, or eat, or ingest in some way to learn your language? Because that's usually how it goes. Yeah. No? Too bad. Although I'm glad I don't have to draw blood or swallow a stone or something. I okay. can't help but feel that you're asking me for help, though. It's the strangest thing. After all, you're just clicking your claws, aren't you? It's not as if you're really talking, is it? Yes, I am! Yeah. I speak crab, too. You yeah, know, in fact. Oh. It's the village of the giant crabs. Hey, that sounds like a great name for a B-movie. Village of the giant crabs. That would be a kind of a cool name. Hmm. It's a big statue. Oh. And there's another thing up there. Let's uh, go check that out. Do, 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 do. Oh. Well. It's an old fireplace. That means somebody's been here fairly recently. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. What's this? 
It's okay, a triangular okay. hole, like a keyhole. What's this? The wing, this top wing is a little different from the other one. Hmm. Oh, we can interact with them. Okay. Let's see if we can do something. Probably can't because the diary said, you know, we need somebody strong, but we can try. I can't break the shell. It's too thick and solid. That's interesting noise. Um. We got all these potions. Hmm. No what to do with them all. Oh, oh, no. I can't talk to him? What can you yeah. tell me about the island, Crow? Only oh, what God. I've been able to see from above. There's a volcano, dead I think. Oh thank God. And lots of jungle. And some nice beaches. I'd like to explore the jungle, but I'm afraid I'm going to get lost. Any ideas? Well, I could stay airborne and keep track of where you are. That way I could direct you if... Sorry, when you get lost. <clears throat> Sounds like a super plan, Crow. Let's go. Yay! And off he goes. And I had it in that. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, well, there's the beach and the volcano. That's all we know. It's the volcano then. Whoa! Uh, Crow, that is not dead. The rumbling is much fiercer here, and the ground is really shaking. It's definitely seismic. It has got to be emanating from this volcanic mountain. I mean, it looks dead, but it must be about to wake up or erupt or something. Great! After surviving a shipwreck, being kidnapped <laughs> by fishes, and learning to breathe in water, I'm about to die in a volcanic eruption? Isn't that ironic? I... Is that ironic? I don't think so. Anyways, uh, dying by lava is not a good thing. Actually, I think one of my geology professors knew... Uh, a couple, they were famous volcanologists, volcano scientists, whether they don't know what that means. Um, and they were killed by a pyroclastic flow, which, geology lesson here, pyroclastic flow is essentially a whole lot of very, very hot ashen rock that sweeps down the side of a volcano after an eruption. It burns everything in its path. I don't want to know what happened, but I can assume that they were probably had burned to ashes themselves. Like, no bones, just ashes. Yeah, not, not a good way to go, I would expect. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, oh just jump on in. Come on, hoist yourself up. Huh. It's a keyhole. That's the exact same keyhole we saw on the, um... The thingamabobs. The podium. What a strange symbol. That also looks like something from the, from the podium. It's a small, eye-sized aperture with a crystal in it. Like a lens. Maybe some kind of telescope? I don't see anything interesting. Hmm. Well, it's not much. That's one mother of a tree. It's got to be at least 100 meters tall. And what's that in the tree crown? Looks like a man-made construction. Looks like a cannon. Okay. Well, I don't really see much else here. Uh, head right down. Oh, hello. Now we can go there. But, uh, let's go back down here because I... Honestly, while I was talking, I looked something up. I think I missed something here.
It's a tiny tree. Hmm. It's the ruins of an old city. I thought I missed something here. Maybe I misread my little walkthrough? Oh. Oh. Deep. Okay. Now, I missed something that I should have picked up right at the beginning. There is a rope. I'm a dum-dum. I'm sorry. It... This, this is probably going to be kind of hard to watch, considering we're going to be, um, It's a long rope. ...going back and forth on this, but... It can, it can take me a while to get back into the swing of things with a, uh, adventure game. Speaking of, um, as... I guess my way of saying sorry for taking so long? Especially, and considering Thief Deadly Shadows, I, I have not gotten back to playing that. Um, and it might take a while for me to get back to where I was. Uh, I have another Let's Play I can do, considering it's coming out very soon. Uh, I would say, uh, because I'm me, expect it by the end of the month. Depending on how many episodes of this I put up. Expect it at least by February. Alright, now we tied it down there. Now we can check out this cave. Because if there's. What? No, April! 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 April O'Neill! I haven't watched Ninja Turtles in it forever. Not sure about the new one. I've heard good and bad things about it. Ooh. Uh, I would say this is... Oh, I forgot about that little animation. I do like the silhouette they have. Uh, that's very nice. Big nests, once housing the elation, but now empty and in disrepair. Huh. Climb it down, and down at the bottom, we've got, well, mailroom houses. That's a Merrim city. So this must be where they used to congregate. It's a deserted Merrim city. Okay, I wasn't looking at that. Here's another thing. Remember back at, um, back in Stark? When we talked with, um, oh, criminy, the landlady, I cannot think of her name right now. I just remember her girlfriend is named Mickey. Was it Mickey? I think so. I'm probably making up stuff. I cannot remember that for crud. Damn it, it's been so long. Um... But when we talked with her, she said she looked down into the water and thought she saw a whole city. I'm guessing it's probably this. Because this was in shallow waters. It may have also been the actual Maelm city we were in not too long ago, but... It's the remains of a stone structure that probably fell down here through the crevice. There's a piece amongst the rubble that looks like a bolt or a key. It's intact. Oh, that's good. Let's, uh, I keep on left right clicking. It was, a, it was another adventure game I was playing, a free adventure game I was playing, and it, um, it essentially, since it was very basic, you bas you just, um, ah, you right click to look at stuff, and then you left click to pick it up. I don't know why that means I'm... I want to right click, but whatever. Now, she said that thing looked like a key. What if... 
we look at this and that's a weird looking it's key. a kind of stone key carved into the uncanny likeness of a key with a head on the end carved into the uncanny likeness of a key oh it fits Ahem. Turn it to the right to move the bottom. Turn it to the left to move the top. Simple enough. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, it's a triangular uh, hole, like a keyhole. Yes, I know. For those of you who do, who did not watch the Dream Machine, uh, I moved into my own apartment. And my upstairs neighbors can be kind of noisy. Especially when they um, decide to uh, bow chicka bow wow. Yes, I actually hear the bed squeaking. It's um, very disturbing. I have to, typically, good thing is I figured out how to deal with it. I just I have a pair of headphones around because uh, I'm not always on my computer. And I can, and those headphones are like earbuds, so they go in more. Uh, so I don't have to hear them. 